All right, guys, we it's are <laughs> we day. are at Limeburger's farm, and it is a homeschool day. And there's a lot more here than I thought. There's all kinds of playground area. I'm glad we got here a little early. They're gonna get to read a book, talk to somebody about pumpkins, take a hayride, pick a pumpkin, but I didn't realize there was like playground stuff here. So I'm kind of excited about this. All right, there's all kinds of facts about cows, goats, sheep, pigs. Do you think you can answer all, what, you have to read the question, the answer's underneath. How do goats, how long do they live? How long do you think a goat lives to be? Does it live to be 100? Uh, 600. 600, it actually lives 10 to 12 years. 10 to 12 years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Where's Abram? Oh, Abram. You got it on the slide? Come on, Abram. Abram, come on down, buddy. Mom, go through there. Boop. That swing is just your right height, huh? Good job, Abram. Oh, push. Oh, are you slowing down? <laughs> you guys, well, you can swing here. You want to swing? A corn angel. <laughs> I knew that. Abram, that looks awesome. I know there's rocks in here too. Well, nobody is supposed to put the rocks in. Abram, do it one more time. I'll take a picture. Abram, one more. All right, one, one, two, three. Cheese. Smile at me. Smile at me. Mom, you need to take <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. One, two, three. I think we should all be up in it. Do you think we should all do it? Yeah. Yeah. We knew it was gonna rain today, but it's starting to sprinkle, so we might not get much footage of the hayride since I don't, ooh, there's a bee, there's a bee. <laughs> um, because I don't wanna get my camera wet. But we can stay under here, huh, Abram? Do you love the corn pit? Yeah. So she doesn't really notice the pollen. She doesn't really yeah, care about the pollen. Yeah, and the bees. Yeah, the bees. No, no, get out of here. I was going to say watermelon. Yeah, the green, and the light green, dark green. Well, and what's this one called? An yeah. Amish apple gourd. Amish it's apple. That, now it's uh, it's that is it's and edible too. Um, you can Is it roast slimy? the seeds in the oven. Um, okay. Kind of like a kind of, and you can put salt on them, kind of like popcorn. Or Did you want to touch that? Is that a little bee? Yeah, it's like a little tiny bee. Abram, let me see, buddy. Come here. What does the bee do? What is, hey, what does the bee do? It gets the pollen? Remember? But we have playgrounds up there. We have a playground down there. Yeah. So How about this one? You see this one? This so one this one is called a peanut pumpkin. And I guess people named it that because they thought it kind of looked like somebody had glued peanuts on top. It does. It's not actually related to the peanut plant. Um, but it's just an old-timey heirloom variety of pumpkin. I think it was from France. What? Marcus, what is your favorite one of these pumpkins? That one? That one's the coolest, probably. Yeah. All right, I come to homeschool things so I can learn something, and I just learned today that there's over a hundred types of pumpkins. I had no idea, like, seriously. So, Abram, are you on a wagon ride? 
We're taking a wagon ride. Abram, do you like it? Yeah. Look at those little white pumpkins, Marcus. Abram, that's like the kind you got. Do you like the white pumpkins? No? What's that? Yeah. What's that? Yellow, that big machine. An excavator. A bumblebee. This was a great track to ride. Yeah. Yeah, we saw where the bees live and we saw all the different types of plants. What did you like? Did you like the bee homes? The, I think the ride's over. The ride does look over. We're going to come back to the front, play on the playground, get our pumpkin. All right, I'm a big fan of this homeschool day. It was $6.50 a person. We got a little class on pumpkins. <laughs> I learned something. Then we got the wagon ride, and he, I learned more things about this farm. This is a really cool, like, family-owned farm. And now we get to each pick a pumpkin. So for $19.50, we're going with three. I would say these are medium-sized. They're not tiny, small to medium-sized pumpkins. So we have to pick any one of these. And we, we each get, we, well, we get three. So you can go pick one for you, and we'll get one for Marcus, and then I'll pick one. I want one of those darkish kind of almost red colored ones over there. Okay. What are you picking? And pick one of these orange ones, the bigger ones. These are all bigger. That's a good one with the big stem. Marcus? No, that one has stuff on. Does that one look good? Now we can paint this one. We're, this won't be a carving pumpkin, I don't think, but we can paint it. Abram, what do you want? I want to do it Ready, Halloween. Come here, buddy. All right, we are picking a pumpkin. Marcus thinks he found the perfect one. Show me your pumpkin. It's like, it's like a baseball bat. <laughs> Abram, where's yours? Go get your perfect pumpkin, the one that you picked from over here. That off-white color. That's beautiful. And then that little red one is the one I picked, the little orange one. Hey. Hey. What? What? Oh, you found it over there? It's very cool. <sighs> okay, well, let's not throw it because somebody else is going to pick it. That's perfect. And you, you guys think you picked the right ones, the perfect ones? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Marcus. You went up to the four and a quarter. How tall this fall? Oh. Oh. Three and a half. Are you three and a half feet tall? Yeah, very cool, buddy. It's a cool picture, but you can't go inside. I thought it was like a barrel that you could walk inside. That'd be a cool thing though, huh? I got some little chicks. What do you think, Marky Moo? Oh, oh, they're so cute! I'm gonna... All right, Marcus is feeding some little chicks in here. Oh, look, that one ran to you, Marcus. There's so many. They're so cute. Yeah, you're just throwing it down right there, gently. Oh, that one's running. I love this. All right, so you can purchase food for the chickens for 50 cents, and then come over here and just kind of sprinkle it in their little chi chicken coop. I got these little baby chickens. They're so little. Um, I mean, it's just feet, so it's like really small, but this is super cute. Oh, Marcus is over here. Nope. Don't sprinkle it in their water, buddy. Why aren't? Oh, thank you. I tried. 
Oh, Abram got the eyeballs. Well, don't scrape your hand. That looks a little pointy. What kind of animal is this, Abram? A cow. A cow. Drum it. Drum the top. <gasps> you want me to drum the top? Okay. A great looking cow. Whoa. <laughs> Do you want to climb on the hay bale or the swing? Wait. Let's try that swing again. Wait, no, the, hay bale. the hay bale? Let's see over there if we can climb the hay bale. Wait, I'm a big fan of this farm. So you actually don't have to purchase a pumpkin or the hay ride. You can just come up here, let your kids play on everything you know, get some strawberry jam from the shop and then leave. Um, free parking, free to get in, free to get play on all the playground stuff. And I mean, this is really, really nice. Definitely worth the drive for me. It was about 40 minutes to get over here, but oh, the kids are over here. But this is a great playground. It turned out like a little bit of rain this morning, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. You guys got it? Wonder if I can get in too. <laughs> Alright, so the boys played on the swing for a little bit, and now we're over in this. I would say it's a sandbox, but it's kind of dirt and sand. There's tons of toys over here. All right, guys, this is like a perfect day. The sun's behind some clouds. It's not raining. It sprinkled a little bit earlier, but it's not raining right now. And my kids are the only ones out here. Like <laughs> this whole little play area. It's got some swings and some sandboxes and the slide. So there's another play area that I'm about to make the kids go to. It's like one when we first got here. There's all kinds of stuff. And this is a great, like for the price, it's a great pumpkin patch. I'm gonna rate it like a nine out of 10. Um, it doesn't have animals and that's probably it. That's the only thing that I would like like to have in a pumpkin patch. But, and you also didn't pick the pumpkin straight out of, off the vine. They were already pre-picked for you. Whoa, be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go to the other uh, playground? You want to walk up there? Okay. Okay, okay. Are you gonna go with me? <laughs> I have to get up, Abram, you're on my foot. I can't get up. <laughs> Let's do that again. There we go. All right, you ready, Marcus? All right, Marcus and Abram found another slide back here in the trees, and it's pretty long. All right, so you played hopscotch with the pine cone. Go over here and jump like a bunny. You gotta jump to the tracks. Yep. Yeah. They say they have bunnies on this farm, even though they don't like actually have the bunnies, there are rabbits on the farm. What is the next thing? Ooh, that says leapfrog. Maybe that one's lower, it'll be easier. Yeah, like that. That's how you leapfrog. 
Yep. Can you go around all of them? Nice. Good job. No. Last one. Boop. <laughs> So this whole area is like a little um, obstacle course and they talk about like leaping like a frog, hopping like a bunny, run like a deer, and you have like a little thing to do at each of the little stations. So um, it's pretty cute, this whole area. And then there's another like learn about soil and recycling. So it just talks about different things. Average soil, recycling. So. There's a lot of educational stuff over here that you would miss if you just stayed up at the playground at the front. So, this is really neat. Walk on the log. Be careful. Don't fall off. Yep, keep going, Bubba. Don't fall off. Oh, you need to crawl like an ant? I don't know that you have to, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Whoa! Great walking, Abram. It looks like they have more educational stuff back here in this building. Abram, what are you learning about here? Can you find all the ways everyone is enjoying pollination? <gasps> What is this? Bee. A bee. Uh, what a... Oh, this is not a bee. What is that? I don't know. Is it a cicada? Cicada. Big. It is big. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, there's a little bee. <gasps> you guys want to learn about bees? Look here. This is... Egg, larva, pupa, honey, adult honeybee. Look at that. It starts out as this. Ooh. It turns to this. And then after that, it turns to eggs that we might release them. Um, Abram, what kind of bug is that? It lost a leg. It lost a leg. Oh my goodness, guys. This place was such a pleasant surprise. I will definitely be back. It's totally worth the 40 to 45 minute drive um, from the other side of Charlotte. And I just, I can't say enough nice things about it. It's so spread out, so nice. I don't know if it gets super crowded on the weekends, but I will definitely come back. Um, I'm thrilled with this place. So nine out of 10 top top um quality pumpkin patch so wonderful uh we got three pumpkins we got a hayride got three hours oh you give it a 10 out of 10 okay we also got three hours on the playground for no extra cost so i think that alone was like worth it for sure anyways this is going to be the end of the video Perfect score. I like it, Abram. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.